Hey everyone, my name is Karen Waxman and I'm the founder of a company called Retail MBA. And today I want to talk about getting your products sold at Spencer Gift Stores. Now, the reason I decided to create this particular segment is because I teach thousands of product companies across the country on the subject of selling to retailers, and people always ask me, Karen, how do I sell my product to Spencer Gifts or other retailers similar to that? So I wanted to take a minute to give you some things to think about and some strategies and so forth to support you in your process. So let's talk about Spencer Gifts. Spencer Gifts is a retailer that's a little bit under the radar. You see it in a lot of the uh, retail stores. It's basically, you know, they have anything from like, uh, you know, gift novelty items to sex toys. I mean, it's like the, it's really random, kind of cool little products uh, and, and fun products, entertaining, entertaining products. And so, you know, you, it's definitely an experience when you walk into a Spencer Gifts. So why do I mention this retailer? Well, it's a niche retailer. It's in a lot of stores. They have 600 stores that they're responsible for. So that's a major buying power. So I like those stores. When they have a lot of buying power, that's interesting to me. And 600 stores is a lot of stores. Their demographic is somewhere between the age of 18 to 24 year olds. So if you have a product that's, you know, for that age range, that's another reason to consider going after Spencer Gifts. And again, I don't hear like, you know, that many people reaching out to, to Spencer Gifts, um, you know, and so this is a really interesting opportunity for you to kind of explore a potential opportunity if your product fits within their, their customer base. Now, one thing to think about Spencer Gifts, and I know this from working with them in the past, is that Spencer Gifts tend to work. Now, maybe they've changed or maybe they've, you know, something's adjusted or it's, it's so forth, but from the experiences that I've had, they have uh, tend to work on a consignment basis, which is very different than a lot of other retailers. Well, that basically means that if you reach out to Spencer Gifts and they like your product, they might say to you, hey, Karen, um, you know, I, this is a great product, but what the, we work on a consignment basis, which essentially means that you, uh, you pay for the product to get to them and they only pay you for products that are actually sold. They don't give you an order for all of the stores, you know, for all of the products that you give them, only for the ones that actually sell in the stores. And if nothing sells in the stores, you're responsible for those products, and you're responsible for taking those products back, and you're responsible for paying for shipping. Now, things could have changed, but you know, for the years that I've known about it, this is consistent with Spencer Gifts, at least in the past. And so, you know, again, if you reach out to Spencer Gifts, they'll specifically tell you that. The buyers will let you know. So my point here is to let you know that if you are in a position where you think your product is going to blow off, off store shelves and you're willing to do something on a consignment basis, Spencer Gifts could be a great option for you. But if that makes you nervous, you don't have the extra cash to do anything like that, you're not willing to take that risk, just know that that could be a possibility with working with Spencer Gifts. So anyways, I hope that provided value for you. If you'd like to learn more on exactly how to get your products into retailers such as Spencer Gifts, uh, please take a look at my Retail MBA program. It is the most comprehensive course available today on the subject of selling to retailers. And the link for that is listed below. Anyhow, I hope this provided value for you and please be on the lookout for the additional videos I create on getting your products in stores. Thanks so much.